people do anything and everything, everything and everything just to, like, people just do stuff now. At this point, it's not even. Like, uh, people, we're at, okay, AJ has water. I think he's spilling it. AJ, come give me the water, baby. It's the fact that y'all watched this yesterday. I, <laughs> I know y'all like, I wish Blah would stop pausing it. No, motherfucker. No, motherfuckers. Not today. What the fuck? It is hump day. What the fuck did Robin just say? <laughs> on October, October the 22nd, you guys, Robin got her little ass up on the camera and said, did she say back in her day? <laughs> back in her day, because this is the kid generation, people just be doing anything to just, just be doing anything. What? Back in what fucking day? <laughs> back in what fucking day, Robin? Please explain this to me. And this is exactly why she gets her ass in trouble. Ain't no damn way. At this point, I can't even, I cannot, because I did feel like, you know what? Well, don't nobody put their fucking hands on my daughter, period. Father, mama, grandma, grandpa, don't nobody put their fucking hands on her. So I felt like there's no fucking reason for Gerard to be putting his hands on Robin. I said this before. You don't put your fucking hands on her at all because you make her think it's okay for a man to put his hands on her. So we have to come up with different ways of disciplining our children. Her little ass will be eating Dow motherfucking soap for a week. Dow, Irish Springs. I might put a little bit of fucking Dove mouthwash in her shit. You're going to brush your goddamn teeth with this mouthwash because absolutely fucking not. I do not like little kids that jump into grown-ass fucking conversation. There is no room for Robin in this conversation. There's no room for a child in grown folks' business at all. I don't play this shit. Now, because, child, I feel some type of way. I'm not playing. Don't, I don't get no fuck about none of that. Like, mm. You better not think about laying your fucking finger on my daughter. If me as her mother, she came out of my motherfucking cooter snatch. And I don't think about putting a finger on her. Better not near another. I don't give a fuck. Nigga, I don't care if she came out your ball sack. You better not fucking touch my daughter. I will off everyone. But Robin, like she said, she ain't from here. She ain't my daughter. She said back in the day. So when you're saying back in the day and in your generation, I think you're ready to get a whooping. That's what I think. Because if you want to go back in the day, can we talk about back in the day? Back in the day, Gerard or your grandmother would have sent you outside to get a switch off the tree, Robin. And she would have whooped your little tail with that switch, Robin. Mm -hmm. Back in the day, she would have got a ruler, Robin. And she would have smacked you all in your lips with that ruler, Robin. Back in the day, they would have got a leather belt, Robin. And you would have had to lay across the bed, Robin. And you would have got your hind quarters tore the fuck up. Back in the day. Olivia, you really need to get your kids in line because what the fuck you're doing is doing nothing but sending them back home to get their hindquarters tore the fuck up. And that is, that it is what it is. It is what it is because there's no reason for that little girl to be standing there in grown folks business and running her mouth still. And you haven't told her stop not one time. You haven't told her, Robin, go be a child. Not one time. She's supposed to be in there feeding baby no daddy a bottle. What the fuck is she even doing back in there in the camera? Literally. It been, what, how long it been? It, 11 minutes. At six minutes, she, look, at six minutes, they went to feed the baby. 
So why is Robin even back in here in the camera, running her mouth? That's exactly why Robin is getting bullied at school. Because she got a smart ass mouth and she thinks shit is cute and she thinks it's sweet. That's exactly why she gets her ass whooped when she go home. She get a damn spanking and that's why. Because what she do and what she's saying is completely unacceptable. She's doing and saying shit that grown people say. And her little 11-year-old ass don't know how to clean her ass right, don't know how to take a damn bath right, don't know if she should wipe front to back or back to front up in grown folks' business. I don't play those games. I do not play those games at all whatsoever. I wish, I wish either any of my kids would. I fucking wish my damn senior would get in my business. I wish the fuck he would. Even open his mouth, open his ears in my direction, in my business that grown folks is in. And he's a senior. But he's still a fucking child. And there is a level for him and there is a level for grown folks. And he's not there. Child, please. Fuck no. Nah. These parents are setting their children up for fucking failure, setting their kids up for the system, setting their kids up to be teen moms, setting their kids up to not go to high school and not do a damn thing with themselves. And that is unacceptable. People... It's a really hard time in the world. And that's what I blame it on. I blame it on society. I blame it on what's going on in the world today. And I people are really miserable. In my direction and really upset. Really depressed. Yeah. I'm going through a lot too, but I'm not gonna sit here and be depressed and be angry all day long. Like I'm gonna make my life better. But let's clean up because the CPS lady, I guess, is gonna be dumb. Because what the fuck is depressed? Like, ooh. Oh, oh, honey, I don't talk like this in front of children, bitch. I don't talk like this in front of children, y'all. And that's just my thoughts and my opinion on it. When it comes to depression and mental health and all that shit, I don't give kids an excuse. I do not give my children an excuse. Uh, you hear what I said? What the fuck is depressed? What is depressed? I don't give them an excuse because if you give them an excuse and if you open that gate, then there's a reason for them to try to go down that gate. Fuck no. What the hell? You look like talking about you depressed in front of a, an 11 year old girl whom you said wants to unalive herself. Y'all see that y'all see what the fuck we be talking about. I would. What? I haven't even said I'm depressed, period, as a grown person. And I, I I definitely ain't said that shit in front of my kids. What do I look like putting some stupid ass shit into their vocabulary? Excuse me? That's like you sitting there saying, oh my gosh, when I drink alcohol, it makes me feel so good. And it makes me feel lovely inside. And it just makes me feel warm and bubbly. And it makes me so happy. I, it just makes me so happy. And just having this conversation in front of fucking impressionable kids. What? So they can go and think that, oh, it, it's acceptable. It's okay. Y'all hear what she said about alcohol? We're going to go and try it. The fuck? Bitch, please. I don't, mm -mm. I don't, I don't give my kids no motherfucking rope. I don't play those games. So Robin over there, oh, my mommy is depressed and, and I think I'm depressed too. We just, we just best friends. We're both depressed. We're going through it together. What the fuck is depressed? Explain it to me. Hmm. Cause it's not in my vocabulary. I don't, mm. That's just me. Don't let what I say offend any of y'all out there. But it's not in my, my vocabulary, not in my household. I don't play that. Nope. Come in here. I don't care. She can come in here and she can look at it. Well, I don't want her to look at y'all room. No, no. Room the mess. I got to clean up the clothes. Mm-hmm. Let me see what's going on. Here. I don't want her in here either, Let's baby. Trust me. That's annoying. 
Does he have to come in your private property? No, he doesn't have to. I'm not going to let him, but... I don't know. This is just such a waste of time. Like, there's actually kids out there being abused, and you guys waste these people's time. I said what I said. On me, though, or people like me, like that don't do anything. But I'm on social media, and y'all are mad because maybe you can't do so. I said what I said, and I meant exactly what I said. That's exactly why Robin Lil has to be in trouble because she's standing right there in grown folks' business right now. What the hell? I meant every word of what I said. If you feel some type of way, if you feel like shame on me, you could exit the chat if you want, or you could sit back and try to figure out what I'm talking about and what I'm saying, because I said exactly what I said about that little girl being in grown folks' business. I said exactly what I said about that little girl down talking her father to CPS. If she felt like she was abused, like she just opened her mouth and said, if AJ was abused, I'd be the first one to call CPS. Well, why did you just sit there and tell that lady that your father abuses you? Did you call CPS on your daddy? Did you go right to school the next day and tell your teacher, I have a bruise right here that hurt. I feel like my dad doesn't love me. I feel like my dad is abusing me. No. No, no, she didn't. Okay. I said what I said and I meant what I said. Robin is old enough to know right from wrong. She's old enough to start understanding. Let me rephrase that. Right from wrong. And she knows what she did is wrong. That's why she didn't go to school and tell the teacher. I said what I said. Social media. So I'm going to, I'm going to go out there though. I'm, I'm going to try to hear her because y'all think it's funny and it's not funny and it's stupid. And you're wasting my time. You're wasting everybody's time. Well, you're not wasting my time because I'm home. So, she's so pathetic. Listen, girl, oh my gosh. 